Hi everybody, it's David Johnson with the Dakota Carson Realty Group in Springfield, Missouri. And today we're going to be talking about buying a home. And what does that process look like? You know, uh, first time home buyers can be very scary. Uh, you know, you just don't drive down the street, pick a house and write a check. Um, it's a little bit more than that for sure. But with great agents like the ones here at Dakota Carson Realty Group, uh, smooth as glass. So what is the first thing you need to do as a buyer to, to buy a home? Um, obviously, you need to look at your finances. Are you ready to buy a house? Do you, I mean, are you secured? Do you have a little bit of a nest egg saved up? Um, is the job looking good? Um, family's ready to go and it's time. You know, is it good for your family? Only you can answer that. Um, then the first thing becomes and this is huge with, uh, with, with most people, is they want to go look, 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 look right away. I want to see if there's something I can find. I guarantee you my team can find you something that you will like. That's not an issue. We will scour the earth to find you what you want. Uh, more importantly, we don't want to take people out and find them the house that they absolutely love but can't afford. So we back it up first time. Uh, and say let's get you your lending secured let's figure out can you afford a hundred thousand dollar house or a seven hundred thousand dollar house and what does that look like where do you want to be so <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna get you secured with lending uh, and a lender um, lenders are big um, me personally uh, I like I work with a couple uh, three or four lenders that are here in town locally that I can call and talk to and I do regular business with and I know that they um, will answer my phone calls and uh, take very good care of my clients. It's a huge part of buying a house. So um, just going to your local bank and walking in and saying, you know, the old days of uh, kind of Mayberry-ish of that's where I bank, that's where I'm going to get my loan. Um, I, I would strongly encourage you to shop around and get when you find an agent maybe talk to him about some of his lenders or her lenders um, so when you get with your lender and you figure out okay this is how much money we can afford to buy um, what kind of loan can we afford can we afford FHA with 20% down or 5% uh, down or can we do uh, are we only going to be able to do <coughs> VA and USDA that are 100% loans um, you know, and are we going to have to come up with closing costs? And if we can afford a hundred thousand dollar house, and we got to come up with approximately thirty five hundred dollars in closing costs, do we even have that money? So are we looking? You know, that all factors into how the deal is negotiated um, in the end. If you don't have the money, then maybe closing costs will be requested to be included. So having all your ducks in a row before you even start is a huge huge deal because um, when you have a specialized team like we do here finding you the house is definitely not the problem we will find you the house that's what we do we sell buy and sell a lot of property so um, obviously your next your next stage is find an agent interview some agents talk to some people um, don't just go with uh, uh, you know my my buddy's one, or a guy at church is one. Um, this is the investment of your life, one of the biggest investments. Go with somebody who you feel very sound business-wise because this is a business transaction and it's very important that it go smoothly, correctly, and they get you the best deal they can get. Do you want to go with uh, a part-time agent, somebody who's doing it on the side or the weekends? Do they know the market? Absolutely not. Impossible. This is a 24-7 job if you let it. Um, it, it. And so you have to be in it full time to really understand what are the ins and outs, what's going on, what's happening with the CCNRs, what's happening with homeowners associations, what areas are up, what areas are down. Um, you just have to be a full time agent to understand. And then again, um, you know, our team has people that are specialized in each particular area. Somebody that's gonna sit with you nonstop and look for houses, look for houses, look for houses until they find the one that you love. And that person is dedicated to you and dialed in on you and ready to go. So if you're looking at an agent that's juggling listings and 
uh, closings and uh, you know buyers um, in my opinion um, their time is limited so if, on our team we have you know buyers agents that they just work with buyers so uh, I think it's a much more efficient process and it's better for the client <clears throat> and then from there how are they going to take you to closing are they going to just say, hey, show up at this place and somebody's going to take care of you. I don't know who, it would be, maybe Michelle or whatever her name is. Um, we have somebody that once the deal is negotiated, um, our transaction coordinator is going to take you all the way to the end and hold your hand and make sure you are very happy with what's going on. You understand 100% of what's going on and there are no questions with what's going on. So walks you through everything. Once again, her only job is to handle you from the time the deal is closed till the till the time it's in, till the time it's under contract, till the time it closes. So, totally dedicated to you at all times. Um, you know, then you have once you have an agent, uh, you got your lending. Um, I like to sit down with my clients and go, okay, let's look at must haves. What are must haves? And I want those put in. Well, I'll have them write them all down. You know, is it a basement? Uh, three bedroom, two bath, uh, two three car garage. It's got to be in this school district. Da, 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 and they just ramble things out. Ramble, ramble, ramble. And then I say, let's put them in order. Because most people are going to give you way more than they can fit into their budget. So at some point, something has to be trimmed off. So we order them as an order of importance. If it's your school district for your kids, that so be it. We put them in order so that then we can start searching. And then if we get, uh, uh, you know, a, a great variety and that's if we can get everything in there, fantastic. If not, we start trimming some things off to uh, make sure we can find you the house, uh, you know, exactly what you need or as close to what you need um, within your budget. So uh, once you find the house, um, and you're ready to make an offer and you sit down with your agent and uh, you know it's not up to you it's well, I take that back it is up to the client to make the final decision but your agent like us uh, should walk you through the process should do an absolute comparative market analysis on the property that you love and say and give you some guidelines with with, with us we're gonna say okay I think we should be somewhere between here and here and that range depends on your love for the property. So uh, sometimes people absolutely love it and they're gonna say, I'm, that's it, I'm gonna be right here on the top end. Um, and, and so I, and at that point I said, I don't recommend we go over that because I think we're getting outside the market, market value of the house. And because my job to get you the best deal for the least amount of money in the shortest amount of time. So um, let your agent coach you through that but you have the final decision. Write your offer, um, or your agent will write it, sign your offer, submit it, and then uh, they may or may not counter back, or they may accept it. <clears throat> Once it's negotiated, then it goes on to closing. So, um, simple as that. Uh, if you have any questions about that, please give us a call. Our phone number is 761-4332, or go to our website at dakotacarsonrealtygroup.com. Thanks, and have a great day.